how do you see the East? Obviously, Cleveland ramped up a little bit. Uh, you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good observation. Yeah, yeah. That's what they pay you for. Um, what do you think of the East? I mean, what's your assessment? Because it seems like there's no real clear cut favorite, but there's a lot of good teams and some teams we just don't know a lot about. Well, you know, I think that Washington is really is really becoming good right before our eyes. I mean, they improved a lot last year, and I think they're going to be a, a team that's going to be very good in the East. And uh, I think Chicago is terrific, and um, and of course Cleveland. I think those are probably. The top three, and maybe I'm forgetting someone. I don't, I don't really go over that that much right now. But um, I think those are probably the top three teams in the East. You left out the Celtics. I did. Yes, I did. Good observation. <laughs> what are your expectations for Brad this season? But I do believe the extraordinary is possible. <laughs> well, I expected a lot of activity and phone calls and possibilities. We got all of those. We didn't consummate the major deal that uh, I certainly would have uh, welcomed, probably, to be honest. But um, We've got a lot of assets, and I like how we used our first round picks. Uh, I'm not claiming to be the basketball guy, but what I see, just from my fan standpoint, is uh, young and smart both look like they can really add something to this team. You said you would have welcomed a major deal. Was there one there, or was it something that you were shooting for and, and couldn't quite make it? Well, I guess I always welcome a major deal in a sense because that's what happened in 07, and I have fond memories. So. Um, it's not going to be easy to rebuild. We're on that path. I think we're going to be better this year than last year. That's my hope. It's my expectation. But we'll have to let it play out. Are you surprised that this roster is as similar as it was kind of to last year? And what about this roster makes you think that it might be better than a 25-win team that you were last year? Well, I think the, the, the bottom line is I think we're, we're obviously we, we lost, we lost you know, some, some pretty good players from last year's roster, obviously, that, that went to other teams. And I'm happy for those guys. And, and um, but I really like what we've what we've added. I like the fact that we can improve individually with the guys that were here. And you know, I'm a big believer in that. Um, you know, this is a this is a game of, of small details that really add up in, at the end. And so, you know, hopefully we can be better in all of those other things with the people that were here. And hopefully the new guys add to our to our collective ability to win. And, and I think that's obviously the goal. Did you come away from the summer? Please with what you're able to do, uh, satisfied? Um, you know, I, I don't know about that. I, I feel like there were things that we wanted to do that we weren't able to do. Um, there were some things that were tempting that we didn't do that I'm very glad we didn't do. Um, you know, I like that we were able to get some things accomplished, although we were not able to get like a big, big deal accomplished that we wanted to. But uh, I'm excited about our two young guys that we drafted. and, and um, very happy that we got Avery coming back, and, and um, I, I really like our young our young core. Well, I think the biggest thing is is to focus on the fact that there's everybody on our team's got to improve, regardless of, of how young they are, how old they are, and, and um, you know I think that that attitude and that mindset is is, is critical. And um, so anybody that's been through has has really embraced that. And and I think that as you see these guys come through. Again, they're all eager and excited. This is an this is an anxious time of the year, you know. Every 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 team out of 30 is excited right now, right? And you've got to you've got to you've got to build off of that and build habits that are important and work the right way and you know keep striving to improve. And that that'll be the key is when things get a little bit tough, um, you know, when we get into stretch of games or when you, know, you hit a road, patch of adversity, do you do you keep improving through that? How tough was it for you to be? patient this summer. You mentioned there were a couple things you could have done. Obviously, I think we all know that you probably wanted to do a lot more this summer and maybe the roster look a lot different than it does. How tough was it for you to kind of stay the course and go a little bit younger? Well, you know, it, it, it's challenging because, you know, there's always things that you might you think you might be able to do to get a tiny bit better, but um, our goals are much bigger than that. We're, we want to hang banners in Boston, and so um, ultimately that's what drives all of our decisions. There's no question that people are working with a sense of urgency, and I think it's, you know, it's not just uh, spots. It's also the fact that we have a lot of, of evenness. We used that word last year as well, and um, you know, playing time is 
going to have to be earned and it's going to have to be, and there's going to be quite a competition for that in a lot of different areas. Yeah, and given how the offseason went, what are your, does it, how does it change or affect your expectations coming into this year, especially compared to last year? Um, you know, I don't know what my expectations are. I really want to see this team get together and I want to, Ultimately, it doesn't really matter what my expectations are. Um, it, it matters what their expectations are and uh, the trust that they have in each other and the belief in, in what they can accomplish together. And um, I think that they'll build uh, a unity as this training camp goes on. But I'm excited to see them. I'm excited to see how it all works and how Marcus Smart sort of fits in with Bradley and Rondo and, and Jeff and how Evan fits in. I think the two terrific players. and. Uh, you know how Kelly and Sully have improved over the off season, and which um, so far they look really good. I'm excited about them. I'm sure most of you will be put in a position where you have to name our starting lineup and our rotation and put it down in pencil. Um, and if you go through it, like really go through it, and you put yourself in my shoes, there's about 150 different variations of this that you could go with, and more so than last year. And and I thought last year we were. Um, pretty hard to figure out. So it's been uh, it's been it's been a fun puzzle to think about, but it's a puzzle that's going to figure itself out once we start practice. General thoughts, Danny, on your roster at this point heading into camp? Well, I think that there's a lot of questions to be answered, uh, like most training camps, I guess. But um, I'm excited. There, I, I can honestly say that I, I really like each player that we have, um, how they mesh, how they fit. Uh, Brad has his work cut out for him this year. He's got a tough <laughs> challenge um, in just figuring, figuring out rotations. And, but I'm really curious to see who's going to step up. Is it hard for you to maintain a little bit of patience when there weren't as many large-scale off-season off moves? Um, you know what? I'm, I, I, I focus more on the things that I can control. And, and I think my, my frustrations were from our, our lack of, of, of details. And, you know, to me, that's on me. And... Um, Hey, there's going to be games where we're going to have to be even better in those because you know the other team is exceptionally talented, and you know that, or you know you're playing against a, an obvious contender, which is basically the whole month of November, right? So um, we're going to see early how detailed we are, and that and that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to seeing you know how much we improve in those areas. Yeah, is the playoffs something attainable? Sure, sure. But again, I don't want to. I don't want to set those parameters, you know. And I know those will be big headlines and all that kind of stuff. Listen, that what what the players and coaching staff believe together is what really matters. And uh, and you know, I don't want to set limitations on them or set high, higher expectations. And and so I'll reserve uh, expectations, you know, till I see training camp and exhibition and see how our guys are.